Yeah. I had a request to do an update on Connie's three holdbacks that I kept. Will you be still? Somebody. Listen, this is why they don't come out very often at the same time because they're quite energetic. And quite a handful. Sorry about that. But yeah, these are three of Tani's holdbacks. Boy, are they a handful. I don't dare take them outdoors at the same time because I'm all over the place chasing. You left a piece of shit on your side, silly. We have... This one's getting ready to shed. That's Eric. Eric. And this is my butthead that loves to fight with me and give me a hard time every time I have to take him out or put him back in. This is Christopher. Grit. I named him after my three grandchildren. And there's Opal. <laughs> you helping yourself out. They look so much like Tawny. She's got some pinks in her, but my camera just doesn't like to pick them up. You're not going anywhere. Where do you think you're going? Come back here, Opal. But yeah, this is Opal. She's real pretty. She does have pinks and purples in her. My camera just, it's really bright in here. Day sun's beaming in the window. Well, where do you think you're going? Very mischievous individuals. Great snakes. I love them to death. They look a lot like Tawny. But, uh, this one, Christopher, the biggest of the three. Christopher and Eric are my two males. He's really very independent, and he doesn't like to do what anybody else wants to do. He's very rebellious snake. He's not mean. He doesn't snap at you or bite at you, but he's just very headstrong and stubborn. Wet. Opal's the one with a little bit of shed left on her neck. Where'd you get lazy, Opal? You got some shed stuff little bit we'll take care of that before i put you back in your house but i had requests for updates on them here comes opal again hey pretty hey pretty girl they're good size oh where are you going christopher oh my gosh you guys don't ever think that corn snakes are lazy because they sure aren't no you're not getting into anything over there you're getting ready to shed you don't need to be out roaming around they can really be a handful. Both hands full and then some extras. But uh, this year, Tawny laid 42 eggs. And about two weeks before they were due to pip, all of a sudden they got dark. And they caved in and they just died. Her, her pregnancy wasn't right from day one. She had a hard labor, hard time laying them. She had a hard time recovering after she laid them. Like I said, it took her 17 hours to lay them all. But these are from two years ago. I had a lot of, I had 34 of them then. But these are the only three that I held back for my grandchildren. There we go. Opal's on the go again. I wish my camera, I gotta get a new camera. This camera just, I don't know, the flesh doesn't work good in the dark anymore. And uh, it just doesn't pick up the colors like it used to. What's really bright, bright in here. Opal, where are you going? Say fans blowing on me. You know I don't like that. What do you want, Christopher? Ambitious. Energetic. But you can see a difference in Opal's colors compared to the other two. Well, I'm right on top of her so it doesn't look right. They're beautiful snakes. There's Opal. You can see she's different than the other two. I have found that males are... The most arrogant of my snakes, well, some of them, corn snakes for sure. But uh, normally my females are most laid back. Corn snakes, every male I produced had an attitude. So, yeah, you kind of have to learn to work with them. You have to learn to work with them as individuals because of that personality and temperament each one has. Opal's really beautiful though. If these two would behave, what are you doing? Where are you going, Christopher? Oh, Come on, you stay in. Real strange colors. See the white dots around the outside of the patterns? That's really peculiar. He's going to get mad at me. You getting upset with me yet? That's real pretty. You can see the pinks and... Christopher a little bit but every one of these patterns has like white dots around the outside of it it's 
really unique. He looks like his mama. Yes, he does. Flash, the father, is uh, albino and snow. Wait. Oh, there goes a scapey over there. What are you doing? What are you doing, Christopher? But they do have some light purples and pinks on them. They're really pretty. No, that's not good. You thought you were going to get by with that. There you go. You can see the colors better. But yeah, they're real pretty snakes. High energy. Definitely high energy. But I had requests. I haven't done a video of them since they were little worms. So I figured I'd do one since I did one of their mother, Tawny. Christopher, where are you going? Oh, so I'm going to come see you. Where do you think I'm going? What I love to do best is annoy my mom. <laughs> You're right. Let me see if I can dig Opal out so you can see her better. She's hiding under here. Come here, Opal. There's your head. Yeah. There's Opal. There's a pretty girl. You can see her pinks most times with my camera. It depends. We're like today it's really bright in the house, so I doubt they'll show up in the right lighting they do though. But she's got pinks and purples in her. Hi. You're a pretty girl. Yes I am. So I'm a pretty girl. Oh yeah, these are three of Tawny's babies from a couple of years ago. Where are you going? Really pretty snakes. So yes, we are. We're very healthy. Very spunky. Where are you going? You don't need to get my paper towel. Roll. Okay. Off on my own. I'm going to explore. This is what they do. They just roam around, look around. You thought you got away, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, Eric has really dark, dark. Orange is almost a brown copper color to him. He gets a little rude. But he's getting ready to shed too, so. Yeah. I'll try to do a video after of them. See if I can catch those pinks and purples outdoors that are in them. Some of the babies were born almost pure white with pink in them. And some were born actually light, light purple from this clutch a couple of years ago. But I had a breeder that was very interested in them, and I hadn't planned to breed anymore right away, so I let him take them for a breeding project because they were really beautiful babies. Almost pure pink and purple. Actually, I posted pictures of them up when they first put their eggs. Really unique colors. Didn't look like albino. But yeah, this is Christopher. And Opal. Opal, you hiding again? Yeah, I am. There she goes. <laughs> Come here. There. There. There we go. But I think these whites on the edges of these patterns is really pretty. You can see it. Really nice. Look at all the white dots around your patterns. That's really different. See, what are you doing with my butt up in the air, Mama? Love them to death. I don't care what kind of snakes they are. I love them all. Don't you potty on me. I'll whoop your butt. But yeah, they're big. They're big. They're social. They're friendly. But these three belong to my grandchildren that I produced. The only one I have that I sent to the breeder that I regret sending out was Spike. He was the one with the attitude and temper and personality. And he just excelled in controlling all the rest of my corn snakes. He was the boss in the group. He was the one with attitude all the time. But his colors were so brilliant. I really wish I'd held on to him, but I didn't, and I do regret that. So, if you're ever thinking about getting rid of your snakes, any of them, sit down and rethink that situation, because once you get rid of them, you can't get them back, usually. But a breeder really wanted Spike. Spike, I gave him the name because of his attitude, but 
you know, before you make a hasty decision, part within your snakes, think it over. Make sure it's not something you'll regret down the line because I really regret having got rid of Spike. He's doing great. He's fathered like six clutches since the breeder took him. But yeah. But here's three of Tawny's babies. You can see how different all three are. And this is Flash, my albino male. That's the father of all of Tawny's 104 eggs that she laid over the past few years. <laughs> Hyper snake. He's so pretty. He was a rescue. He was in really bad shape when I got him, but not now. Nay, hey, don't you bite my thumb. You must not. We'll have differences. Yes, we will. But yeah, this is Flash. He's a good sized boy, too. He's really pretty. He's got caramel and uh, albino in him. So, we have got a bunch of genetics going. And he's got snow in him, naturally. That's where a little bit of yellow is coming from in his colors. But he's real big now compared to what he was when I got him. The guy that had him never kept him on a heating pad in his tank. And he kept the tank on the... Kept him in a big 55-gallon tank on the floor all winter long with no heat source on it and he was really skinny when i got him now he's a hyper snake no you're not going back with tawny anymore you can give that girlfriend up i'm gonna breed you with opal next year but yeah this is the father of all my snakes hyper pup hyper pup he recovered no short terms after about two months that i had him put his weight back on Got rid of his bed sheds. He's doing great. Calm down. It's not that time of the year yet. That's springtime when you go with the girls. <laughs> He's like, why you got me out? I wanted to check him because I heard his nose popping a little bit. But it's nothing. <clears throat> and yes, I'm really particular about my snakes. Anything I hear or notice that doesn't look right, they come out for an inspection. Wiggle worm. Wiggle worms. That's what they are. Flash. You stay in here. I named him Flash because I had only had him for a couple of days and I was cleaning his tank out. And he stuck him in with Tawny and Crystal real quick. Just to clean out his enclosure. And they turned around and take him out of their enclosure and put him back in his. He was already locked up with my female Crystal. And he also locked up with Tawny. So... Yeah, Crystal didn't do well. She had health problems right down the line, and she didn't produce healthy eggs that weren't viable, so she had digestive problems as long as I had her, but she passed away. But I still have Tawny, but she's not breeding anymore, and I've got Opal. But yeah, this is the other hyper snake, the daddy of all 104 eggs. I'll put you back in. Give me a few minutes here, kid.